I was uh, thinking at that time when I failed with the startup, I, I was thinking like, okay, the world should know the truth. And I called it for myself, like the ugly truth, like, okay, I would love to research and make a statistic, like how many of entrepreneurs and what's the percentage of entrepreneurs who are really happy after they exit? Because I would love to know that. And that's not that I don't respect entrepreneurs. To be honest, I respect them so much because I, my personal guess is that at least half of them reached it with this sacrifice because they felt that they need to, otherwise they are nobody. Yeah, totally and right. uh, yeah. I would love to live in the world where successful people reach it because they loved what they are doing, because they want to do it in a long term, because that's in my point of view, support economic more than the short term businesses and exits uh, with the burnt out people who then need to leave the market and leave in Sri Lanka. But there's no, you're right, you're right. It's, it's exactly it. Is do you see that? Is that the very word exit is that point where you get to the point where you don't want to do it anymore. You want to sell this for the money and get out and do something more interesting or something else instead, right? You have that event and anecdotally with, you know, and I probably work with maybe up to 20 exited founders over the last couple of years, lots of them have that feeling of dissatisfaction because they don't have much else to go to, right? They lose a lot of their identity on the other side of this event. And part of what they were doing beforehand is they had identity, they had purpose, they had vision, they had an idea of what their success was. They just at some point got that confused with the monetary value of the business that they had. They got the two things conflated. And the reality is, is they are very, very different things. And on mm -hmm. the other side of that is the only point you realize that is, you know, on the, on the, on the, after the exit, you go, oh, actually I was much happier beforehand because I had some purpose in life, right? I had something that I was working towards. I had a life's dream here. That's gone now. I've got absolutely everything that I want. I almost have, there's no reason for me to do anything anymore because I have all the money that I need. And that then becomes really hard for them to find a purpose in the second part of their life at that point. Yeah, well, and that's exactly connected again with my favorite topic, which is self-esteem. Like that's a big danger when you put, uh, how it said, like all, all eggs in one bowl when it comes to self-esteem. And then it can happen that you lose it. And then you feel like you are nobody, right? I love, to be honest, I love MMA. So there is one, uh, my favorite MMA well, female fighter here in Slovakia. And I listened to her um, podcast recently and she said, you know, I'm not only the fighter, like I'm doing everything I could, but before the, 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 the match, yeah, is it match or fight before the fight, <laughs> before the fight, um, I usually motivate myself with a sentence like you've done everything you could now go and enjoy it and no, not like, okay, you are the winner and you will succeed and you know that's uh, all you've got because if she she said exactly if she had only the this career and sh if she feels like she is only the fighter in life that would be such a huge pressure that she would lose all the time because she couldn't handle the, that kind of pressure like she understands that i really admire that because she's pretty young and at that age, I really didn't have it. I thought like, okay, I need to be successful and perfect in everything I do. Yeah. Because we're wrapping up our identity then, aren't you? That's what we're saying here is your identity is then wrapped up in your whole, what you do and your success is wrapped up in your identity. So if you're not successful in that traditional sense, then your identity takes a huge knock. Who am I if I'm not successful in this way? And it can come really hard for you to recover from something like that so that's a lovely way to look at it it's just i've done everything that i can now i just need to enjoy it that's a great outlook on life especially when somebody's punching you in the face i think that's a great way to think about it 
I'm like enjoy it. Like I'm not imagining to be honest, but uh, but yeah, it's it's very admirable to be honest. Like I love that uh, that interview and that's uh, some kind of content that I'm currently searching for, which is very different. Mm. Because I remember myself, you know, um, digesting all the stories about successful startups and, you know, taking the lessons and in inspiration and uh, recipes of how to do it. Uh, and now actually I'm searching for the people who have it somehow all together without that, that kind of pressure and without kind of, um, you know, proving uh, ourselves to 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 the to the others 